Hello, my darling dreamers. Good afternoon. So today's Storm Talks a little heavy is regarding loyalty. If you are an entrepreneur and how your um, circle of influence, if they're not exactly supportive. So I just like to say, first of all, that um, especially if you're a divine masculine or feminine part or just that collective, that whatever business you have is protected by angels and it is protected by God. So when somebody has, um, first of all, actually I should say second of all, somebody that has intentions to take business away from you or to slow down your business is not a divine masculine or feminine. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't have malicious intent. It's not of God, right? They can be selfish. They can be mean, but they wouldn't want to ruin another person in the collective. They wouldn't. Then they would just be of karmic nature, yeah? Uh, so I did pull some shadow and like oracles because um, there are some people, and this has happened on more than one occasion. I'm not calling anybody out. And if you do feel seen, it's because you're guilty. <laughs> where someone has, oh, sorry, I have a cat here. Someone has a, a business and they have a very close friend. And when someone's looking for somebody else, they'll recommend or use somebody else. And that, in a sense, takes business away from you. And people will say, it's business, it's not personal. Let me tell you something, sweetie. It's personal when you're helping pay somebody else's bills instead of your friend's bills. You know what I'm saying? But people feel like the closer they are to you sometimes that like you'll forget them and you will, but you won't forget it either at the same time. So let me just show you what Oracle cards came out and then I'll bring up the numbers. All right. First of all, we have 27, um, which reduces to nine. So this walrus here, look at the tusks. This is what I want to show you. All right. You can't kiss this person, well, I guess this walrus, without getting stabbed, right? So there are other expressions, like my amazing mother has told me, like you can't walk through mud without getting any on you. Even if you're wearing rain boots, you're still gonna get it on you. It's impossible. So to try and support a person that just constantly is stabbing people in the back, it's, you, it's, I'm not going to say you're asking for it, but just be very careful. This is a warning. I don't want to hear anything if it happens again to somebody. If you feel, if you see their tusks and you go in to kiss them and you're like, oh, I got stabbed. Um, God is trying to show you that they have tusks. Pay attention. We have nine and then we have nine. This is the three witchy sisters. Then we have um, Angel of Alchemy came out with Miracle. Okay. You are very good forgiving nature you if you're if you're watching this and you're divine feminine you're very forgiving nature and even if you're not in the collective and you're just a really good person this is why you're interested in this topic and the throne talks right now like i'll forgive them which brings me to my point a lot of people that are close to you will think they'll just forgive me blah 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 not personal okay fine you are an alchemist you will take that and you will flip it and say you know what let bygones be bygones, life's too short, and all these other idioms, right? <sighs> Let me tell you something. People, jealousy doesn't stay hidden. It does not. It shows up in red flags. It shows up in, you see this red? Red flags and these tusks, it'll show up. Pay attention. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm jealous of your business and your success, I want to slow it down. I will tag other people um, to get business from somebody else so their business can grow and yours stays low. Yours stays small, whatever it is, right? <sighs> that type of intention comes back times three. So we have 21, which is a three. We have the three fates. What goes around comes around, which is a three. Then the three witchy sisters came out. Now, listen, I'm not into witchcraft and all that, but I do know, and I've seen it happen, where somebody, there's like this saying where if you have bad and malicious intentions to hurt somebody, don't act upon it. Because when you do, sweetie, it'll come back to you times three. All right? Um, let me, so like if you 
try to take, um, I don't know, like if you tried to slander somebody, at least three people will come back and slander you. You know what I'm saying? If you do it for no apparent reason other than jealousy and malicious intent. So remember, that's a that's a red flag. That's like, I'm jealous of your business. And I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about my viewers here. I'm talking about my audience. How um, look for ways jealousy is poking its ugly head in a red flag. And keep in mind, it could have happened and it could have been three women doing it to you. But red flags is what I'm getting. I'm checking the goddess deck for you now. We have rebirth and we have wisdom. We have, oh, hold on. We have rebirth, beauty, wisdom, and devotion. <sighs> Some of you have tried to reinvent yourself, right? Like, not even want to use reinvent. I'm going to be real about what's coming. Let's say you dyed your hair red and it looks amazing. Or now you're wearing new jewelry. You do your nails different. Whatever it is, you look looking so brand new. It's a good song from... Um, Benjamin Platt. Anyway, so here, let's say you're doing something different, so beautiful, and it looks like a whole brand new you, right? Your beauty here, you, you just switched it up, you elevated it up, you did something, you're getting some kind of attention, right? But you're also smart, yeah? Beauty and brains. And you think, oh, they're, all my friends are devoted to me. You know, like they've supported me before, they'll support me now, honey. People want to see you doing good, but not better than them. So I'm, I'm sorry, this is the ugly truth and it's called ugly for a reason, okay? It's called ugly for a reason. This woman here looks like she's being like, you know, devoted, but look at her eyes. She looks like she's like, it's side eye. Like, yeah, I'm praying for you, sis. But then they got their eyes open during grace. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. They're watching you, Just trying to copy you. And this could even, um, remember, jealousy wears a mask. It tries to stay hidden. We have revelation. We have revelation here. Something else is going to come with it. I feel it. Hold on. I'm be realizing here. So we have creative spark. And again, with regarding this rebirth, some of you are doing something new now. And it either has to do with a part of your entrepreneurship, it has to do with your business or yourself. There's something new that this creative spark that has been birthed in you. It's also spring, um, something I channeled a while ago, a while ago that, you know, God's going to put all these ideas and such in your dreams. And it has a lot to do with um, spring, a lot of things blooming, blossoming, businesses blossoming, careers blossoming, but ideas growing petals and budding, you know? So we have um, nurture, death and magic, and we have inexperience. So the divine feminine is the nurturer here, that's you. But we have somebody watching you or um, the, you know how we were, we were saying like the friends that are supposed to be supporters and they like low key are jealous and want you to like shrink. We have death and magic and we have inexperience. So what I'm getting from this is some of these people that, and if they are, you know, playing with and even like, you know, karmic people that are trying are wearing a mask trying to be hidden in plain sight, the best way to hide something is in plain sight, they say. If they are wearing a mask here, that mask of jealousy and such, and let's say they just started, at, like I was saying, playing with um, witchcraft or something, but they're inexperienced with it. That's why with the witchy sister, with, blah, the witchy sisters, what goes around comes around. They don't realize there's consequences to this. So there's jealousy into what they're doing. Anything else that you want me to tell them to do? I feel like I should get into that 
Archangel Michael. Oh, no, this blue. Hold on. Oh, we have assurance. And that's what I was just saying about the little plant budding and growing leaves. And it was just 1010. Have some assurance, like, don't worry about it. Even if they were to rip your plant straight out of the ground, God's like, Psh, you'll, you'll grow back. You'll make a comeback. Anything else? This is a little, little long video, I'm sorry. It was just like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we have secrets in the past. Um, so this person, and you could have history with them, and that's why you assume there is, where did it go? That's why you assume there's devo there's this devotion, because it is somebody you already know. You could have had experience with them, history with them. They are from the past, but they are um, having secrets, and this assurance card is letting you know, like, um, Everything your gut is telling you is right, but look for red flags moving forward. I'm just looking for my, I can't find it. Where did I put it? What the heck? How did I lose that? I'm looking for my Disney deck. Oh, I think I put it in this little Dior bag here. Yeah. I wanted to get um, an energy read for moving forward. Okay. Let's see. Let me just pop up. So we have the Hierophant. Um, regarding, this has been coming up a lot because there's a lot of uh, men waking up to becoming spiritual. Just not even just in America, in the world. So you might feel like, oh, this feels kind of like small and local. It's all over the world. It's in Germany, Finland, everywhere, Scotland, Ireland. And they're mirroring some of the same experiences for empathy. So if you've gone through people like trying to make your business shrink by like making other business, other people's businesses grow, uh, these men have been through the same thing. And they are, too, learning to follow their gut instinct. Yep. Here's Dr. Facilier. They're learning who to trust. And again, with this death and magic and the witchy and the witchcraft, this some people, even for men, um, it could be just women that have a crush on them and want them or just trying to do things to them. Um, they're becoming aware of it or they're sensing it or they're fighting it off. They're alchemizing it again with the um, alchemy angel that had popped up transmuting it we do have four pentacles and we do have the star so they start they are still looking up and staying positive and moving forward they're not letting it get to them you ever hear like don't let them see you sweat don't let them see you sweat they take that to heart like yeah page of swords what i'm hearing um as well with with like the, the masculines going through betrayal and stuff um, through business and stuff is I'm not going to give them the satisfaction that's what they're saying that's what I'm hearing like I'm going to let not let them know it even bothered me and then two of cups landed on the alchemy card so what this means is you both are equally as strong you both are equally going through the same experiences and as well can um you can fix this you alone can pull the sword out of the stone you alone and we have the sign at the bottom. Yeah, God's like, Psh, I got you. Have assurance. Have assurance. I got you. I love that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I don't even need to pull anymore because that's just like a beautiful message. So if you'd like a private reading, I do offer those. My rates and contact are in, well, they're below, you know. So if you're new to this channel, you can follow me if you want to. Also, thank you for coming to my their own talk. I know it's not a, like a happy-go-lucky, but y'all needed to hear it and hopefully it shifts how you look at things this week and answers a lot of questions that you may have had. All right. I love you 3000 and I'll see you real soon.